Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually take this uh, drawing file and create this dimensioned multi-view file that's combining orthographic sketches with your ISO sketch up here, how to shade the ISO sketches, how to add the dimension quickly and easily, and uh, how to use this uh, title block that we created in the last video. Okay, uh, The title block is probably the least important of this, um, so that'll be a little variation if you don't go to my the school that I teach at. Okay, um, And here, I'm in the Puzzle Cube project folder, which is going to be very important here, and we're ready to create a new drawing file. Okay, um, So there are a couple of ways I can go about this. I want you to notice if I click this, it's going to pull up the old standard title block that looks like this, not my custom one. Okay, Now, while that's all fine and dandy, like you could use this, it's just not what I want for my particular kids at this school, and so I'm going to tell you to avoid this. Um, you can go through if you want to, and notice this is within sheet one. If I expand the drawing resource file and I can go to title blocks, uh, oh, it's not in there. So never mind. This is not a good way to go. Um, we're going to get rid of this then, and I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, I'm going to have you guys. Now, if you don't go to school here, then, then do this first step and then meet me up later. Okay. Uh, here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on new, um, and we're going to actually use title block A, which we saved in our templates in the last video. And we're going to click create. Okay, um, it's going to look for the Liberty North logo. I, let's see here what happens. Find, hmm. open, open. What happens if we do skip all? Okay, let's see what happens here. I might have you do an extra step, which is absolutely fine. It means I need to redo my YouTube video from the last one, but um, we need to give it a name first. I'm going to do the red puzzle piece first, so I'm just going to name mine red part. You can name it whatever. Part one is fine. Just give it something. Traditionally, you use all caps, but now when I click OK, I'll notice, you'll notice then, here's my title block. It's set up. Oh, good. The logo's came. So that, that's good. You just click Open instead. It has my name of the school, the class that we're in, and red part, which is the only part that I had to type in. Okay. This is my username. It will fill in automatically when I put my part in. So I'm going to choose then now Base. I'm going to create the first view of my object. In this case, I'm going to go and click on the browser right there, and I'm gonna. It's gonna ask me because I'm in the Puzzle Cube project folder which part I want to use. I'm gonna do the red part here, so I'm gonna click Open, and it asks me to place the front view. Okay, and so I'm gonna come here. There's my front view. I can drag this down to the bottom left corner, and then all I have to do is come up here and click. There's my top view. Come to the right over here, about the same distance. Try to get about the same distance, and click. There's my right view and then up here and there's my ISO view. Now all I have to do is click right click and choose OK and it creates these files. Well that's interesting. Pulled in all my dimensions. I'm going to delete these because that's a mess and I don't want all that. So I'm just clicking on these and hitting the delete button um, one at a time. I'm going to show you a better way to dimension and I got to figure out why those popped up automatically. Okay. A couple of things real quick. Uh, we want this red piece to be colored so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to double click just the isometric view and I'm going to go ahead and choose right here, and I'm going to click OK, and it's going to uh, go ahead and shade or color in my red puzzle piece. These will not be shaded because they are part of my isometric sketches that I'm going to dimension. Okay. Now as far as actually adding the dimensions to it, all I have to do is click Annotate, and you have a bunch of, of options here for dimensioning Okay, all around this. I mean, look at all these different options. For the puzzle cube, though, it's pretty simple. Okay. You could individually dimension pieces, but I want to show you something called baseline dimensioning. Okay, Baseline dimensioning is an awesome tool to use because now we can do all of our dimensions in just a couple of clicks. So I click here. I want to dimension all of the widths first. So I have heights, widths, and depths. I'm going to do just the widths. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on every single horizontal line of my front view and highlight them. Okay. And now I'm just going to right click and I'm going to choose continue. Those are all my intermediate dimensions, right? Now watch what happens. If I drag up, if I drag up, it's going to lock in place with some dotted lines here in a second. Boom, right there. That's the location that I want to choose. That's a good distance away. I'm going to left click and set those in place. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose create. I just dimension all of my widths in one step. Now I need to do the same thing for the depths and the heights. Okay. Now as far as the depths go, so I need to choose baseline again. As far as the, the heights go, excuse me, if I use these three lines for the three important heights that I need to locate in my drawing, 
I notice that I'm going to have some lead, uh, some extension lines crossing over. So I'm going to go ahead and just place the view over here instead. I'm going to do my dimensioning on this side. So I'm going to choose this line, this line, this line. If I click continue, and if I come over here, again, there's my dotted lines. So I'm going to click there. That's a good distance to lock in at. I left click, right click, and create. I have widths. I have heights. Now I need the depth of the object back, right? So I can either use this and, and dimension up here for these locations, but now I notice that that would cross extension lines. So you know what? I think it's going to be easier to use this view over here. One more time, baseline dimensioning. I'm going to go here, here, and here are my important points. Right click and continue. I'm going to come out here to the right and find it locking in. There it is, it locks in. Left click, right click, create. I've just dimensioned my entire puzzle piece with just a few clicks. I have my custom title block with my name built in, red part all in caps, and I'm ready to go. I can save this as an IDW file, an IDW, and I can name it red part, and I have what I need. Now your job is to go and do the same thing with your five puzzle cubes.